If you've been following Hasselblad's evolution in the medium format camera market, then you'll know that change has been long overdue. The company's X2D100C, released in 2022, was a major milestone for the brand, but after a few years, even standout cameras need refinement. Now, as 2025 unfolds, exciting signs point to the imminent arrival of the Hasselblad X2D2, and anticipation is growing rapidly. In this deep dive, we'll explore what's been revealed so far, what photographers are hoping for, and how the X2D2 could shape the future of Hasselblad's legendary imaging legacy. The first strong indication that a new Hasselblad camera was in the pipeline came via an FCC registration filed in December 2024. Listed under the model code HB722, the registration didn't reveal many technical details, but it was enough to set the rumor mill in motion. FCC filings are often our earliest glimpse at upcoming products, especially in the photography space, where camera companies tend to keep their developments under wraps until the very last minute. According to FCC regulations, documents like external photos and user manuals are kept confidential for 180 days, putting a likely announcement date around June 2025. Based on this timeline, the debut of the Hasselblad X2D2 could be just weeks away. So, why is this such a big deal? To appreciate what's coming, it's important to understand what made the original X2D100C special. That camera quickly became a dream tool for professionals when it launched in 2022. It introduced a stunning 100-megapixel BSI CMOS sensor with 16-bit color depth and up to 15 stops of dynamic range. These specs enabled the X2D100C to capture an exceptional level of detail with rich tonal gradation, making it ideal for landscape, studio, and portrait work. Another standout feature was the inclusion of a 7-stop, 5-axis in-body image stabilization system, a groundbreaking addition in the medium format world, where large sensors are notoriously difficult to stabilize. This made it possible to shoot handheld at slower shutter speeds without compromising image sharpness, a major advantage for photographers who don't always have the luxury of tripods or perfect lighting. Storage was also a major win with the original X2D. Hasselblad included a generous 1TB internal SSD, removing the need for external memory cards in many shooting situations. Combined with Hasselblad's natural color solution, which faithfully renders 16-bit raw images with subtle, accurate hues, the X2D100C set a new benchmark for medium-format digital photography. But even with all these strengths, the X2D100C wasn't flawless. Two areas, in particular, stood out as needing improvement, autofocus and video. The autofocus system, though technically featuring 294 zones, felt sluggish compared to competitors, especially in subject tracking. In a world where even medium format users increasingly expect snappy performance, this was a significant drawback. More critically, the camera completely lacked any video functionality, a glaring omission in today's hybrid shooting world where creators often expect both high-end stills and usable video in one body. This leads us to the big question, what might the Hasselblad X2D2 deliver? Starting with the sensor, it's widely believed that Hasselblad will retain the same 100MP BSI CMOS sensor found in the original model. There's little reason to move away from it, the current sensor still leads the market in many respects, particularly when paired with Hasselblad's stellar color science. However, improvements in sensor readout speed and noise performance could give the X2D2 an edge in real-world shooting, especially in low-light or high-contrast scenes. Enhanced processing could also enable faster burst rates and reduce the frustrating viewfinder lag that sometimes plagued the original X2D. Autofocus is one area where expectations are high. With computational photography and AI-driven autofocus rapidly evolving, there's a real opportunity for Hasselblad to make a leap here. While they may stick with the same 294-point AF layout, an AI-powered system could greatly improve subject detection and tracking reliability. Faster, more intelligent autofocus would dramatically enhance the camera's usability, especially for those working with dynamic scenes or moving subjects. The X2D2 could finally bring Hasselblad closer to its rivals like Fujifilm's GFX 102, which already offers impressive tracking and real-time face-slash-eye detection in its medium format body. In terms of stabilization, Hasselblad already made waves by introducing 7-stop IBIS with the X2D100C. It would be surprising if they didn't carry this forward into the X2D2. While there's no confirmation of any major redesign, subtle refinements could make the stabilization even more effective, perhaps through better gyroscopic calibration or improved coordination between IBIS and autofocus systems. 
For handheld shooters working with massive 100MP files, this feature remains essential. Arguably, the most exciting, and most requested, upgrade for the Hasselblad X2D2 is the addition of video capabilities. Traditionally, Hasselblad has focused exclusively on still photography, leaving video to competitors. But that mindset is changing, especially with more photographers wanting hybrid systems. If Hasselblad does include video in the X2D2, it would mark a significant turning point for the brand. Based on current rumors, the camera may offer 4K recording at 30 frames per second, with 10-bit color depth and possibly even a dedicated Hasselblad log profile. This would open the door for color grading and cinematic workflows, something that has long eluded the Hasselblad ecosystem. However, enabling video capture, especially at high resolution, requires robust processing power. One of the more subtle but crucial upgrades expected in the X2D2 is a new generation image processor. The current model occasionally suffers from EVF lag and slower file handling, which could be solved with a faster, more efficient chip. Not only would this benefit video workflows, but it would also lead to smoother UI interactions, faster startup, improved buffer clearing, and overall snappier performance. If Hasselblad does lean into video, storage will also need to scale accordingly. While the original X2D's 1TB SSD was ample for stills, video will chew through space much faster. Therefore, it wouldn't be surprising to see the Hasselblad X2D2 feature a 2TB internal SSD, giving creators more flexibility on longer shoots without constantly offloading data. External recording options, if supported, could further extend its appeal to video professionals. Another area where small changes could make a big impact is ergonomics. Hasselblad's Scandinavian-inspired design has long been admired for its minimalist elegance, and we don't expect a major departure from that aesthetic. However, usability can still be improved. A slightly larger hand grip or better button placement could enhance comfort during extended sessions, particularly when paired with heavier lenses. Medium format systems naturally trend toward bulk, so well thought out handling features will make a difference for field shooters. Of course, while anticipation is high, it's also important to stay grounded. Hasselblad operates in a niche market that values quality, simplicity, and artistic control over sheer feature lists. The original X2D was never meant to be an action camera or a cinematic workhorse. Its primary mission was to deliver unrivaled still image quality in a beautifully crafted body. That's not likely to change drastically with the X2D2. We should expect careful, considered improvements rather than flashy overhauls. Still, the pressure is on. Fujifilm's GFX line has redefined what photographers expect from medium format, faster autofocus, competitive pricing, and serious video chops. Hasselblad may need to respond more assertively if they want to remain competitive, especially among professionals who are increasingly drawn to hybrid shooting and multimedia projects. In conclusion, the Hasselblad X2D2, rumored for a June 2025 release, could be one of the most significant updates in the company's recent history. While it will likely retain the stunning 100MP sensor, expect key improvements in autofocus, speed, ergonomics, and, potentially, the long-awaited debut of 4K video. With upgraded processing, better subject tracking, and larger internal storage, the X2D2 aims to correct a few weaknesses of its predecessor while maintaining the unique strengths that made the original so beloved. If executed well, this could be the camera that bridges the gap between classic Hasselblad craftsmanship and the demands of modern hybrid creatives. What are you most excited to see in the new Hasselblad X2D2? Let us know your thoughts, and be sure to stay tuned as we get closer to its official release.